Should Georgia have spiked the ball with 15 seconds left against Alabama? Who knows? That's the million dollar question. And should Georgia Tech be bowl eligible with more losses than wins? Fox Sports 1670's Bill Shanks and our own Tucker Sargent discuss those topics and more in tonight's Grant and Rave. Issue one, we go back to last Saturday night. Tucker and I were both there at the Georgia Dome as Georgia played Alabama. Should Georgia have spiked the ball at the very end to stop the clock to try to set up two plays before the clock ran out? And the answer is yes, they should have. They were really running out of time as far as snapping the ball. They were taking too much time with that. And they could have just calmed down, gotten to play, tried at least two plays, maybe even three. So yeah, they messed up, Tucker. They did. The atmosphere in that dome was just absolutely wild. And Everyone in the stadium knew at those last 15 seconds, they were just like, what's going on right now? Is the game really going to end this way? And sure enough, it did. You know, Rick's got to make a better call there. He's got to give his quarterback a chance to get uh, two passes. And with the, that call, he looks like Les Miles out there. Yeah, probably did. All right, last issue two now. Georgia Tech lost their conference championship game. They finished six and seven right now. But they've got a waiver to go to a bowl game anyway. They're going to go to the Sun Bowl and play USC. Was that the right move to get a waiver? Well, you can't blame Tech for trying, but yeah. to be given that waiver was absolutely ridiculous. There is no way that Georgia Tech should be going to a bowl game. Bowls should reward teams for good seasons. Georgia Tech did not have a good season. They got beat by Middle Tennessee State and BYU lost their championship after they backed into that. No way, they shouldn't be in a bowl game, Tucker. It says the Georgia fan, you know, Georgia Tech, they did win six games, that got them bowl eligible. It's not their fault Miami had to impose that uh, championship game ban on themselves and had, they had to go to the SEC championship and get another loss. Six and seven, pretty bad record if you look at it that way, but they almost beat Florida State, who's uh, going to a BCS Bowl. Yeah, I almost beat, won the Powerball last week, but that doesn't count either. Issue three, which of the three Georgia high school teams from middle Georgia will be able to advance on to the finals next week? We've got Northside going to Ware County, Wilcox County at home against Emanuel County Institute, and also Dooley County on the road against Lincoln County. I'm going to say Wilcox County, Tucker, really only because they're at home, and I think that north side trip to Waycross, mild stomping grounds, might be difficult. Yeah, Lincoln County is going to be a tough team for uh, Dooley to beat. And north side struggled last week against Tucker, and they're going on the road this week. It's going to be a, a hard game to win down there on the road. The only team who is at home this week of our local teams is Wilcox. And home field advantage this late in the playoffs is a big deal. They're going to win. All right, final topic, Falcons and Panthers on Sunday, the final quarter of the season. Will the Falcons win it? Yes, they will. They are too good of a team to lose to Carolina, who, is, of course, are struggling. And this is when the Falcons really need to turn it on and start playing even better football here in the last quarter of the season. You know, we both said they wouldn't finish the year undefeated. They already have that one loss. I, I thought they were going to lose to the Bucks. They came up, uh, got a, a win late in that game. I think the Panthers, though, are going to upset your Falcons this weekend. Oh, that's awful. All right, we'll see you on Friday night for the final edition of the End Zone brought to you by Safe Auto.